Day 100. Woo! So, how's it feel? Uh, I cannot believe we got to day 100. <laughs> and as you just pointed out, we're not even sure if this is actually my day 100. It could be a few past because for some reason, I'm like six videos behind you. And I'm pretty sure I started two days behind you. I think uh, you did. I think, I think you may have lost count. So I've, I've lost count or you've, you've undercounted, which we don't think is a possibility because you've got them all in a playlist on YouTube. In a playlist, yeah. So obviously I just can't count. <laughs> so if you want to ask me what have I learned during 100 days, it's I can't count. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, aside from learning that you can't count, what have you lo- learned over the last 100 days? Fill me in. Everything. Everything. So creating video isn't as hard as I thought. Okay, let's let's dive into that a little bit. When yep. we started this uh, this challenge, I know you felt a little overwhelmed. So tell me about that. So that I had so many objections when we first started. One being I didn't have the right equipment, and obviously now we do have all the fancy fancy tech and the webcam and shit. We both we, both of us have gone hard on the equipment expenditure. <laughs> but at the start, it was literally just a phone and a ten-pound lapel mic, and that got <laughs> us going. Um, shout out to my mate Gareth and the Inversion Project for telling me that was absolutely fine because I was like, I need a fancy mic, I need a fancy camera, I need fancy shit, and actually, you don't. So that's good. So, just to interrupt there for the people that aren't in the UK. The lapel mic did not actually weigh ten pounds. Mike is referring to the <laughs> currency value. <laughs> I wouldn't even have picked up on that. Yes, ten, <laughs> ten British pounds, the currency, or ten pounds sterling. And um, so, what for you it would have been what seventeen dollars, something like that, or sixteen, seventeen dollars? Yeah, I would say around seventeen dollars. Yeah. So that was the first objection overcome was I don't need fancy equipment. Uh, I would say that the next thing was, you know, it actually doesn't take, it doesn't take a lot of time to create video. It takes a lot of time to edit. And, and with that said, you don't actually need to exactly. edit in you the raw is edit. perfectly fine. As you can tell by all of Mike's videos, yes. I am just a perfectionist. <laughs> yeah. So my videos are literally, once you get over making mistakes and the stumbling around and the ums and the ahs, just literally cut the start and end and everything in between is fine. Everything in between is a bit authentic and doesn't actually matter whether there's mistakes or not. So just do that. So that's, that was good to learn. Um, also just being, feeling more confident to talk on camera. So I'm sure you, you yourself as well, Bit, bit nervous about going on camera initially and a bit nervous about putting yourself out there but the more you do it the more the less you care about it and I now listen to myself on videos and stuff all the time because I, I actually don't mind it so so roll back to when you first started and tell me that first experience of you know getting the camera right uh, shooting that first video how you were feeling so first video well, one of the first videos, are, actually, actually 100 days is quite a long time ago, isn't it? That's it is. three months ago. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that's almost a third of a year. Yeah. And I, you know, based on this year, that feels like a lifetime ago. Um, so, yeah, I, I remember, so I remember setting it up with the, I had the, I'd record, I'd written a script. I'd record, I'd, I'd set up my tripod. I'd I'd invested in a kind of teleprompter app. So that was all queued up. And I just remember r- r- uh, running through this, this uh, script I'd done over and over again because I didn't want to make any mistakes because I didn't want to edit. So I just remember reading it. And I just remember being really robotic. Just, and yeah. And so, so that was my first few attempts was with a script, with a tripod, with a teleprompter. And that's all purely off cuff. It's all kind of not scripted. I just talk shit. Um, <laughs> it's so much better and so much quicker. <laughs> Way more natural. Okay, so so did you do a video yesterday? 
So I, I don't think it's cheating, but I haven't been doing recording a video every day. So I've released a video every day and I'm in every video pretty much. But I, unlike you, I haven't actually recorded it live on the day. Well, it's called the 100 day video challenge. Yeah, that's fine. It's not the 100 day no. live video challenge. No, maybe, that, maybe that's our next one. Um, but yeah, so like the last couple of days have been my clips from my podcast. And mm -hmm. I, say, I can say my podcast now because I'm now actually like an official host. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So I got, I've been brought in onto the Not, not Another Startup podcast. So full time host. Would you say if you hadn't done this video challenge, you wouldn't be the host of a podcast right now? I would say there's less chance that I'd be a, a podcast podcast host right now because I would be way less confident about talking. Um, and I literally, I've, I've this weekend, I listened to the first draft of the podcast we recorded on Friday, and I didn't cringe once at my own voice, which I think is a major first step. <laughs> A major step because you always cringe at your own voice. Oh yeah, your voice on recording. So little known secret, I was a bingo caller for years and years. No and years. way. I was. Wait, and wait, wait, wait. Back it up. You were a bingo caller. Yes, that's, that's how I put incredible. myself through. Why college. do I only just know about this? Because I don't usually tell people. <laughs> Please put that on your LinkedIn profile. <laughs> Ex bingo caller. <laughs> Well, it was much like video. It was very nerve wracking at first to be up in front of a bunch of people calling out numbers. But um, after a few years of doing it, it just becomes habit. Actually, after the first 30 days of doing it, it just becomes habit. Yep. And uh, apparently I have a great voice for radio. Oh, no, that's, no, that's, no, that's, that's good. Which um, it, it was just... So, so the, the customers would say, I have a very soothing voice when I'm calling bingo numbers. So oh, nice. it was a good voice for radio. However, I could hear myself in the speakers as I was calling and I couldn't stand the sound of my own <laughs> voice because it sounds different, yeah. right? Yeah, the way you sound, hear yourself sounds different from the way that other people hear you. So I'd go, oh my God, is that what my voice sounds like? That's horrible. <laughs> Your voice out here sounds way different to your voice in here. Yes. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, so I'm over that now. Let's take it. You know, I think actually that I got over that quite quickly. Because if you can't, if you can't watch replays of yourself and obviously edit your own videos, yep. you're not going to get very far. So you have to go, you have to get over that, that thing pretty quickly. I actually, uh, I watch my own, a little, another little secret. I watch my own videos on YouTube, <laughs> mostly just to pick them apart. But Brandon's like, are you watching your videos again? <laughs> some, some of the clips that I do with the podcast, you know, the, the ones that we, I, I post quite a lot on LinkedIn, I can watch them over and over again. And I just crack up, <laughs> laugh, like really, really laugh at our own footage. Um, and yeah, so that's good. 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 Yeah. So it's good. Okay, so so you've come a long way from day one and reading a teleprompter. You looked a little bit like a deer in headlights. I'll be honest. Oh wow, yeah. I and I really sounded robotic. Yes. yes. So robotic. And now now it's like you've been doing it for years. So give me some tips for your viewers here. If so, if I'm if I'm brand new and I want to or I'm thinking about doing videos for my business, what do I need to know? Uh, first tip is just do it. Like literally just get started. Um, don't worry about being like perfect straight away. Just get started and you can always improve. Um, step two is, yeah, don't worry about the fact that you haven't got your equipment or the the, the fancy equipment or um, that's fine. Like we've said, you literally only need a smartphone, a webcam. It's only recently since I got a professional-ish webcam i've been using you know my in webcam multiple times so that's fine um yes yeah, so that's yeah literally don't worry about equipment um in terms of like what to say you've probably got a, a, a whole host of things you could talk about um you sheila have obviously gone through a few times like what ways to create 
like a list of content. Um, so that's not a problem either. I've also noticed that, you know, don't worry about it always being like business related or educational or whatever. Sometimes just a, you know, quick shout out or a quick, something a bit more personal can be quite effective as well. Mm -hmm. Um, especially on LinkedIn where most people expect you to put like professional content, actually having a bit of a bit more personality and getting your personality across to, you know, potential customers and so on is, is a, is a good shout. Um, and just try and make it a habit. Like I think for me and you doing it a hundred days, even on week weekends has really accelerated our kind of take up a video and like, you know, we've already talked about it on your, your 100 day video, um, completion video. Um, like you, you're, you're going to keep it up because it's a habit now. Like it literally, it'd be hard to, it'd be weird to stop doing it. Yeah. So just to jump in over the weekend, I didn't create any videos because my 100 day challenge was over and I'll be honest, it felt weird. It felt weird not making a video. And I pretty much spent all weekend thinking about what videos I should be making. <laughs> See, I'm sure when I get to the, my next weekend, I'll be like, I'm glad it's over. But um, yeah, I, I can't imagine not posting a video during the, during the week. Yeah. Maybe it's just, maybe it's now I've, I've done that. Now it's just, right, how do I make the, how do I make the video better? Or how do I make it? more valuable but i yep. think that first 100 days just getting getting yourself out there um it's been really helpful in natural uh, networking groups as well so it's something that i can just talk about in my networking groups people are asking me how's, how's the challenge going um how you know how close how close are you to the end that thing so it's quite a nice little conversation starter slash icebreaker um yeah no it's been it's been great and um get yourself an accountability partner yes I think that's probably the key. To, I think that's the key to it. Oh, that's the key to anything, really, isn't it? We've talked yes. about this multiple times. Yep. But find yep. someone. If you can find someone who's also willing to do the challenge, then even better because you can push each other. Yep. Can I add uh, two little tips into your video here? So, um, if you don't have a cell phone and you just have a webcam, that's great too. The key is proper lighting. So, sorry, I keep, I got to keep moving because there's a light behind me and you see how it's taking the focus off my face. So keep a light behind you, but barely visible and have a nice light shining down on your face. And that will drastically change your webcam. So webcams usually look a little grainy. Having that light there will make it a little bit cleaner. So even just the webcam from your laptop will be good if you have that lighting, which is really just like a living room light or something shining down this way or on both of these sides. And the other thing is um, just get, you know, a cheap little $17 headset with a microphone. It'll, if, if your video is grainy and the audio is great, people will sit through it. Mm -hmm. But you can have the best looking video in the world. And if the audio sucks, people are going to bounce. Yeah. That's a good point. Those, yeah. I think the audio is more important. Those are my two tips. Love it. So I try and get this light out from behind <laughs> me. There we go. <laughs> really awkward. <laughs> I'm sitting here in a really awkward position. Like it's the, know, I'm going to try and block this light. <laughs> there we go. It's the awkward media show with Sheila and Mike. <laughs> What was, so I'm going to turn it back on you now. What was your favorite video from your, from your 100 days? Um, my favorite video would have been the day that I was uh, down in the studio that we set up for tradies and just walking through the setup and all the gear that we were using. So um, at the time, we didn't have the, um, the nice cameras. We didn't have the tripods. Um, we didn't have, you know, the little, the little shotgun mics. It, everything was super, super rinky dink. You know, we had this big um, metal A-frame ladder with a board sitting on it and our point and shoot camera on the board and a stack of books holding the laptop because we used the teleprompter for Brandon. 
it was super, super ghetto, but walking people through how we got those videos, because in the editing, that's when we put in all the graphics and everything. And it, it really upped the production value. Yeah. That was my favorite video, just yeah. walking through and showing how we came up with a decent looking video just by using yeah. shit from around the house. I yeah. just swore in the podcast. That's so cool. Can we go back to the fact that you just said rinky-dink? Sure. What is that? <laughs> uh, rinky-dink is, that is like, <laughs> like um, pasting stuff together. Okay, cool. Yeah. Like a hodgepodge or... Yes, hodgepodge is perfect. Cool. Rinky-dink. I like it. Rinky is that dink. a Canadian thing? It is. Cool. Okay, good. You learn something new here. <laughs> Like using maple syrup and no, I'm just kidding. Um, so tell me what is, okay, let's jump into what your favorite video was of you, not of me. See, I don't have a specific, actually saying that I've just thought of one. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the video of me giving running tips whilst running. That one was good. Which is cool. And again, that was like probably terrible from a video point of view, but from a like experience from like, I literally was, obviously I was training for the, mar the marathon and I was like on one of my long runs. And I was like, right, how do I, I, I need to, I need to get a video in today. And how do I kill some time on a long run? So I literally was just running around. I think it's about eight minutes. I'm surprised I didn't get run, by, run over by a car. <laughs> but I literally had the phone out and was just like kind of holding it, just talking definitely not scripted or planned and just like just talked um and that was quite cool um that got quite a good engagement as well because everyone's like you're mad like i can't people were like i can't run let alone run and record a video <laughs> it was pretty good um, my favorite fun. video of yours was the, here are some ducks <laughs> yeah <laughs> see see that's that's great so i created video content i'm not even in it and i just yeah here's some ducks <laughs> on I think my my stupid accountability partner is making me shoot videos on vacation so here's some ducks <laughs> again that got some good engagement because people are like oh i've been there or um just an in interesting rather than just like see me talk so i think kind of going back to like the idea of not having to always post like i say meaningful content but like content that like is planned. You can put some stuff up there, which is a bit more personal, a bit more random, really, and it gets good yep. engagement. Our, um, our, my, my most engaging video on LinkedIn was the day that we did the virtual beer fest, and I wasn't even in the video. I don't think I was just, um, shooting Ryan and Brandon. They had received a twenty-four pack of different craft beers from steam whistle which is a brewing company in canada and they decided to um, have a virtual beer fest because actual beer fest was closed from covid and do a tasting of all 24 beers now tasting to them means they both drink half a can each the cans are 500 milliliters so there was 24 cans um so they each had 12 500 milliliter beers by the end of it. <laughs> um, and craft beers have a lot of alcohol content yeah. and leave you with a really dirty hangover. <laughs> um, so it was just showing the beers, showing the guys starting. And that was probably my most engaging video. Everyone just wanted to see virtual beer fest, which had nothing to do with business. But again, letting people into your life a little bit outside of business it's not a bad thing yeah i don't i don't think linkedin should go the way of like facebook and just like you know i you know every single thought but like the odd thing especially at weekends yep um so it's you know if you are going to do the 100 day video challenge don't think you have to do like a fancy video at the weekend just show people what you're up to because you know they don't expect you to be working on saturday and sunday yeah. Um, even, yeah, even a short one minute, Hey, this is what I'm up to keeps people engaged. So with that said, what's next for Mike Hennon? So in terms of video, I'm going to try and keep it up. I think I'm going to 
like you, I'm going to ditch the week a weekend unless I see something that or do or come across something that's worth sharing. But I'd like to keep going on the the weekdays. Um, and even if I don't post it, maybe on socials, at least try and create something or just try and create better content for YouTube as well. Yeah. Good. So I might do some of my um, homepage breakdown things, maybe like a weekly thing. Actually part of my, um, part of my plan for next year is to have a, a bit more of a fixed content strategy. Yeah. Slash marketing strategy. So like, you know, I want to do at least one email, one podcast, no, uh, one email, one proper good video one blog that sort of thing so that'll probably be part of that um and i think me and you have talked about maybe starting some sort of 100 day video challenge movement or something yeah i'm i'm definitely interested in that um the highlight of this whole thing was that i had three people that actually watched every single one of my videos which i was super (laughs) surprised about (laughs) Because some of them were just like me in the backyard going, hey, guys, it's the weekend. Here's my cat. (laughs) Um, But out of out of those three people, two of them have actually started their own video challenge. Now, they don't do it every single day, but they have started creating content, which that's like that's that's the whole point. Get help others. Right. Help others to build themselves. So I'd say the whole thing was a success. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you for, thank you for, cause I can't, I can't remember how it started. Did you just say you were going to do it? And I, you were like, you should do it as well or something. I can't remember. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I just, <laughs> I just announced I was going to do it and you were going to do it with me. Yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. Yep. Yeah, sure. And it has been fun though, isn't it? I just can't believe, yeah, I can't believe it's over. Right. I can't, uh, I, I remember when we posted it in the Facebook group and invited people along Everyone was like, okay, good luck, 100 days, and here we are, yep. 100 days later. Well, so no one took it up, did they? No, no one took <laughs> it up, and no one thought that we would go through with 100 days because, you know, it's consistency and stopping what you're doing through the day and making sure you get a video out. Mm-hmm. There's been many a times where it's been like 9 o'clock at night, and I'm like, oh, shit. So I just get the camera out, say a few things, and then Bob's your uncle, it's done. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know what? It's, it all comes down to routine. Routine equals results. If yeah. you are consistent, you might not get a hundred viewers, you might not get a thousand viewers, but if you keep doing it, people will tune in. And that's the thing. Yeah, consistency right. is key. Yep. And content is king or something like that. So with that said, congratulations on making it to the 100 day challenge finale. I just want to point out that I made it before you. (laughs) So in this marathon, I got the gold medal. You did. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. (laughs) I think for both of us to to do anything for 100 days in a row is a big achievement. So yeah, huge pat on the back. And I'm and I'm looking forward to, you know, maybe in the new year starting this and and trying to get more people involved because I think starting a movement of this will help so many business owners. Yeah. And I think it will help them with their businesses and their like confidence. Yep. So yeah, I think we've got to do it. Cool. Let's talk. All right. All right. And on that note, bye. Bye.